this video. Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Rahim. So welcome to my YouTube channel. So very long time I made a video, but uh, from tomorrow you can continuously get the video in my YouTube channel. So let's start what we are doing today. So today what we are doing simply we are using a UI path Excel sheet and we are move the selective columns to the another Excel sheet simply using your path select selective column from Excel and load to the new Excel sheet so how can we do that so let's start how we are doing that thing so we have a Excel sheet you can see here we have the Excel sheet and in Excel sheet name is sheet 1 so what we are doing we need to get the only this column in buyer buyer org and second you can take the state and zip code what you want to take from this excel sheet so i'm just uh, take this column and second is we are take the order total so what we are doing we are take both of column and write that column into the new excel sheet so how can we do that simply for that case what we are doing you can see i have already made a program but uh, we are start from the starting so simply we are take a excel application scope and in that case we are pass the path of the excel sheet so this is our excel sheet so after that what we are doing we are take a read range activity to read that excel sheet so read range so we are using the excel read range because if you are using the workbook read range that it's not working tied into the Excel application scope. That's why I'm using the read range and provide the Excel sheet name is what you want. One second. Okay. I'm already made the Excel sheet name, but maybe. Yes, and just change the scope into the sequence. sequence. And we are create Excel sheet all columns data table. Okay. After that, what we are doing, we are take a assign activity to move the selective column into the another Excel sheet. In that case, what we are doing, we are create a another variable. Variable name is audit out table, and variable type is data table. And inside that, what we are pass, we are pass a some value. All columns data table dot default view dot to table copy and in that we are pass the false bracket after that we are pass the uh, data table name is or one second and control c and pass the data table on here and here we are for the columns and copy the columns which column you want to write and in, write into the new Excel sheet so I'm just copy the column name and paste it on here control V and here we are for the Columns name get the one second. Data table name dot columns. Pass the column name, which column we need to take the order that column so just copy that column and paste it on here control V and here we are just type the dot 
columns name and okay and save it and take activities right data table right range so we are taking right range activity from the okay so we are take the excel right range activity because workbook right range activity is not work inside into the excel applications book so i'm just browse the name of this excel sheet is two and remove the range from here and paste the excel sheet name or table and we are just add the headers because and here also we check the errors yes it's already included let's save it close the excel file okay and then the program so you can see our program is running so here it's successfully running so inside the open the result Excel file so you can see we get the value from the sheet one we get the buyer buyer value column value and order total value so I'm just click on the sheet one you can see we get the all the value from the Excel sheet and write into the new Excel sheet so that's it please subscribe my channel if you want to need to ask something about from this regard this program please comment on my youtube channel thank you everyone please subscribe my channel